I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise you that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise you that we're gonna have some fun, so if it gets cool with that, you're down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First game of today's episode is called The Mold Exorcist. I am going to exercise your mold for a small fee, and I got my K-pop special hair right now. Hi, bud. Just calling to let you know that this particular job has a rush on it. The property- God damn, there's so much to read! The property goes on sale tomorrow, so sorry about putting you in the graveyard shift. Don't worry, you'll get time and a half for this one so you don't contaminate the whole place. Start upstairs, the door's open, you've got your Mold Blaster 9000, HEPA mask, headlamp, and you're ready to go. Talk to you on Monday, mate. Oh yeah, mate. Monday, Talk to you on Monday, my mateys. Oh yeah, I love my mateys and I love my babies. Yeah, so we're the mold exorcists, so if you need me to exercise your mold, 1-800-666-MOLD, and I will be clapping that asses. What the heck? Oh, I thought that was somebody. Oh, I'm actually kind of nervous. Uh, what do I... Oh, boy. Bro, hold on. That's mold, right? Yep, that's mold. What? Whoa. Whoa, I got demon mold? Hold on. Hold on. Let's exercise the mold. What is happening here? Why is my light flickering, dude? I'm just trying to exercise the mold. Oh, God. Oh, dude, I'm going to tuck myself in the corner like some butt cheeks. I'm kind of scared. Come on, K-pop hair. Save me. Save me now. Oh. 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 Who's there? I got to go upstairs to start, right? There's so much goddamn mold here, though. Just move. Just get a new place. I swear I'm seeing ghosts in the corner. Bro, I'm sweating like a hoe in church. Hello? I'm the mold exerciser. What the hell is that? Looks like some stuff flickering on me. Hello? <laughs> Dude, what is happening? Oh, my hair's just exercise the mold. Dude, demon mold. I've never seen shit like this before. How long has it been since you cleaned your house? You don't give it a good deep scrub. Okay, just keep going, just keep going. I don't know what this is all about. I don't know who's moaning and groaning, who I'm exercising right now, but I am not having it. I'm not your personal trainer. I shouldn't be exercising this right now. Oh? A word? All right, if you're about that life, then come over here then. Yeah, I'm not a little bitch. I'm big digging it now. It's false. No way. Not this time. It never happened. It's fiction. It's an urban legend that never happened. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Come where? <laughs> you know, where do you want me to come, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm too perverted for this job. You know, you told me to come here. I will come here. Come close. Where? Where's closer? Here? Where's that? Okay, some demonic spirit's telling me to come closer. I don't know. Thank you. Where are you? Hey, can we talk about this? What's your name? Cool. You know some prehistoric dinosaur shit, the way you're roaring? Like, what do you mean, you? What do you mean, you? Yeah, me. It is me. I am me. I'm not anybody else. I'm talking about you. Let me just spray this shit. I don't care who's over here. Like, I'm about it, about it, okay? I'm just trying to get employee of the month. She thinks, she thinks I'm gonna go down to the basement willingly. Enter basement. Whoa! Yo, I don't get paid enough for this. What is happening? What is that? Girl, that's a booty hole. And I might have to charge you an extra fifteen dollars for this. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny to you, huh? I didn't know you got it like that. I didn't know you were getting the bag back. That was actually a person. Hey, can you wrap this up? Like, I got Uber Eats on the way. This was my last call for the evening. I got a girl coming over later. It never happened. It never happened. This one was invented by a writer. Not this time. It never happened. It's false. It never happened. It's a fake. So, you know, you could just, like, possess me and do whatever you want with me. That'd be cool. That'd be splendid. Oh, the game just stopped. All right.
Next game of today's episode is called Joe's House. I don't know who Joe is, but he low-key looking like a hoe. He low-key looking like a bald Billy Hill. So how to play Joe's House. Joe's House is a maze building game where you must rearrange the furniture of the HQ residential house to create the longest path from Joe's bed to one of the exits. And to move the furniture in game, you must use the map. Once in the 2D map, left click on any piece of furniture and drag it. Or I'm on some architect type shit. Don't let Joe leave the house. The longer your furniture maze is, the longer it will take Joe to leave the house. Wait, why don't I want him to leave the house? Joe will not go for a pie if it is placed in an accessible location. Okay, I am so confused, but I'm going to learn this game on the fly. Hey, Joe. Hello. You must be Joe Burt. I'm Joe Bessity. I was expecting you. You are here in response to my newspaper ad. I need someone to help me with my medical condition. Actually, the only reason I'm here is because they said that somebody was looking like a ghoul down the street. They bet me $10 that I wouldn't come over here and talk to you, and I did. I have a strange sleeping disorder. I'll roll out of bed at night. Boo-hoo for you! Fuck out of here, bro. In fact, I don't just roll out of bed. I roll out of the house. Once I roll out of the house, I endanger innocent civilians. Your job is to keep me in the house at night. By whatever means necessary. Welcome to my house. Make yourself at home. You can start setting up the house for the night. My bedroom is at the top of the stairs to the right. At night, I run out of the front door. The first thing you might want to do is barricade that front door. You can use one of the barricades in the garage. Use the map to plan where you want to put the barricade. Big Hoey Joe. That's your nickname now. Where's the barricades at, my G? Press M to see the map to talk to Joe. Okay, drag barricade in front of the door. Okay, how do I do that again? Oh, whoa, whoa. God damn, Joe. God damn, you got some sloppy Joes back there, Joe. Joey, Joey, hey. Hey, Joey, what are you doing February 14? <laughs> you feel me? Hold left mouse to drag the furniture. Okay, so we got the furniture. We're going to put it right here. There you go. So let's check it out. Let's see what that barricade's looking like. Oh, nice. That's a sweet looking barricade. So, is my job done? I think my job's done. Well, I'll just be going about the house. Come find me when your preparations for the night are complete. Also, light gives me a headache, so I keep the place dark. Use your flashlight to get. Oh, God! Are you kidding me? Bro, I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Okay. Bro got buns on buns, bro. He got buns that turn on nuns. All right, so I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Hey, Joe, what are you doing? This is a pretty unique game, if I do say so myself. I actually like it a lot. But is it going to turn into a horror game? I guess we're about to find that out, huh? I approve of this. Off to bed I go. Okay. Wait for Joe to get to his bed. How's he going to get to his bed? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, we got the flashlights. This is actually bizarre. Hold on. Um, I know that in the game, it said that Joe attacks you. I don't know why. Like, we're the nicest guy in the world. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Like, I wouldn't even step on a beetle if it was shitting on my floor right now. But I don't even know how to get out of here. I made this so I can't even escape. Okay, so I'm gonna put the barricade like this. So I can actually leave. Like that. Is that perfect? Can I still get up here? Okay, I can actually still get up here. Cool. I can do like a little double jump. I did not know that. Well, I'm just gonna go back to house. Come find me when preparation for the night are complete. Also, light gives me a headache, so can I keep the place dark? All right, here we go. We're gonna let Joe go to his bed. This is the best I can do right here. Just putting this dresser over here. So wait for Joe to get to his bed. All right. Joe, you in your bed? There you are, Joe. Go talk to Joe in his bed. I can't believe he's wearing his shoes to bed. That's disgusting. You're nasty. You're filthy, Joe. What the heck? Do what happened to Joe? Okay, you know what? I don't care. Thank you for bringing me my medicine. I didn't bring you no damn medicine. I'm going to sleep now. What? What the hell? Oh my God! Don't roll like Donkey Kong out of bed. You have been flattened by Joe Bessity. Oh, I gotta do this again? Come on, bro. So I'm gonna talk to him, and then once he's done doing his thing, bro, drop a pie, drop a pie, drop a pie. Dude, that's disturbing. 
Okay, we're just gonna watch him roll. Uh, so, hey, 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 I dropped the pipe! Bro, get me out! Bro, turn me up! Turn me up! Bro, get out of here! Shit, did he roll? Oh, he has skedaddled, dude! He didn't just leave, he skedaddled! Okay, so I gotta put something back here. Because I can't have this dude rolling around. So let me put a fridge and that one thing right there. This dude's outside? Are you shitting on my chest, bro? Okay, whatever. I'll meet him outside. I need him to approve. Joe, we gotta talk, man. We gotta have dialogue. How you feeling setting up the hash for the night? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, kiss me, my love. You got a cone head. You look like the fourth cone head. Alright. It's a clear violation? How? Okay, there must be a possible path from my bed to an exit. That shit don't make no damn sense. I thought you don't want me to let you leave. That shit weird. Bro, you got weird vibes to you. I really don't understand what you want me to do. Like, do I just run? It's weird. This game is pretty bizarre. Close that? No, close it. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. You bitch of a son. Come here. Come here. Bro, come here. Dude, he ran! No! I have to close that somehow. But it keeps saying that I'm in violation of him leaving the house. I didn't know that we can rearrange the second floor, too. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. So, let me make sure he gets out on this side of the bed. And we'll do, like, a little funneling system. Okay? Does that make sense, everybody? Like, a little funneling system? Because we have to hold him for, like, a minute. So, let's see. Um, let's do... Shoot. Shoot, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, let's do this. Put that right there. Put that right there. Right there. Yeah, I'm just trying to make a little system. A little funneling system, everybody. So, he has to go in a little zigzag, like, boom, boom. And then I should make him go this way. Like, here. There you go. Just like... That. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's talk to him. Because he rolled out of bed on the other side. Oh, dude. Nope. Never mind. That didn't do anything. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch, bitch. You're a bitch, bitch. Oh, my God. Okay. I dropped the pie. I dropped the pie. I dropped one more pie. I'm not going to keep him uh, away. I'm not going to keep him away. I'm so dead. Bro, he rolled out of there, man. He just did a barrel roll. What the? You know what? Why don't I block this area right here? Make him have to go through this area over here. Like that. And then I make a little maze for him. Right? Wouldn't that make sense? Okay, now you're thinking, Jay. Now you're thinking like a pro, dude. So he would have to go through here. And then he would have to go through here. He can't roll over there. So he would need to go all the way over here. And there you go. That should be enough time. So while he's coming down the stairs, he's automatically going to come into this room. Should I make it a little bit complicated for him? I should. I should rotate this and do that. Okay. And then um, make him go all the way to the end. I'm just trying to waste the most time possible. I think that we did pretty good here. What do y'all think about my work? Do you like it? You don't? Well, keep that to yourself. Keep your comments to yourself. He approves. All right, Joel approves. So I don't need to listen to anybody's hateful comments, okay? Because it hurts. <laughs> you make hateful comments like that. <laughs> I'm cap, dude. I'm a bag of cap. Wait, why did I? I left that. I. Oh my god. Uh... Okay, here. Let's see what happens. So he has to roll all the way from there. What if I drop a pie right here? Let's see if he goes for it. He actually goes for it. Okay, so I think I know what to do. So let's wait for him. Let's wait for him. Joe? Where'd he go? I'm kind of scared to go up there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Let's just drop the pie. I'm too scared. We got 34 seconds. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's he doing? Yeah, they, he does go back for the pie. Shoot. So I should have dropped them far away. Okay. Let's close that. Hopefully he doesn't leave through the garage. If he does, it's game over for me. It's curds for me. Bro, it's blouses for me. Oh, there he is. Okay, we got 13 seconds. Hey! Bitch! Get over here! Oh my god. Okay. Woo! We did it! We did it, you son of a bitch! Let's go! Three. <laughs> what? He's skedaddled! I have two seconds! I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I'm gonna get it this time. 
But my strategy is I'm gonna leave a pie at the very end. Like when he's almost out the room. Why does he come back? It's either he's trying to leave or he's trying to kill me. That's the part that doesn't make sense. I can talk to him? What am I gonna say? Stop rolling? What if I just wake him up? Bro, isn't that what I'm good for? Just wake his ass up. Just be like, hey, bro, you're sleep rolling again. Get your ass back to sleep. But I guess not. I guess he just likes being street me like this. Hopefully his pants don't rip, man. I'm not trying to see Joe Dong right now. Here, one more pie. Let's go, my guy. Pie my guy. I'm not trying to rhyme. It just comes natural, you know? Just ultra instinct. There you go. There you go. Got him. Got him. What the heck? No, 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 no. Oh, almost got stuck again. Shit. I don't know how he got out from the garage, honestly. Well, we got 10 more seconds. Here we go. We beat it. Yeah. Can I get an early round of applause, everybody? Yeah. Can we turn me up one time? Yeah. Let's go. Major dogs. I take the win every freaking time. Let's go, Joe. What the? Bro, my I'm done, dude. My guy is just chilling, chilling. Legs crossed and everything. Probably got his dick crossed, too. Hey, let's talk to him. Uh huh. Where am I? Oh, looks like you did it. You kept me from leaving the property. This is very impressive. Thank you. All right, we have received three pies, but you know what? I'm done. Last game of today's episode is called Floor Number 5. I have no idea what this is about, but this plate looked like a hard titty, so it caught my eye. So let's get it. Day 1. Okay, we're going by days now. Uh, read. Take. Uh, give. Okay, let's read before we do anything. The menu is beef tenderloin filet coated with mustard, mushroom duck sauce, ham wrapped in puff pastry, and baked to perfection. Awesome. Okay, let me read this. Dear floor number five, we hope you are settling in well. You may not recognize the room you find yourself in, but we'd advise you to make yourself at home. Soon your one and only meal for the day will arrive and you will be presented with a choice. Take the food for yourself to satisfy your hunger or pass on the opportunity to help those below. We will leave the decision in your capable hands. Just don't be shocked if your neighbors below become louder with their growing hunger. But what does that matter to you? You're on the top floor after all, and the amount of food only dwindles from here. You may even hear from them shortly, they do like to beg. You can monitor your hunger with a handy display on the wall in front of you. It's best not to ask how we know this. Don't forget, it's left or right click to interact with the items in front of you. Good luck. Sincerely, Administration. Okay, so this reminds me of a movie that I saw on Netflix. I think it was called The Platform. So basically what it was, was I think there was at least 99 or 100 floors. And there would be a big ass tray of food, like everything that you can ask for, right? There'd be like ham, ice cream, sushi, all different things like spaghetti, pasta, all like on this big ass platform. And they would have like a certain amount of time to eat. I think like maybe like a minute or two to eat. And then the people on the top floor, like the first, like the very top floor at the top, they get the most food. They get to choose whatever they want. As it gets lower, it's like floor two, three, four, five, six. The food becomes less and less and less and less and less because, you know, more people are eating the food the, the next platform it goes on. So one of the prisoners decides that he doesn't want to eat that much. Like, he wants to give food to the next person because, you know, he has empathy and he cares about the people. So it's a really good movie if you want to check it out. It's called The Platform, I believe. I think it's in Spanish, but, you know, you can read subtitles. That's what I did. So I think this is what this game is about because it's exactly the same concept. So do I want to eat the beef wellington? I, I think I'll give it. Because, you know, it's covered in mustard. I don't like mustard. Ugh. Day two. Okay, that went quick. Um, my vision's kind of foggy, so I guess I'm really hungry. So let's see. We got a kimchi bowl. Our house-made kimchi. Soba noodles, kohlrabi, pan-roasted mushrooms, spiralized carrots, and long stem shard with a miso orange dressing. See, I definitely don't have a taste in food. I'm not a food connoisseur. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Let's read this. Dear floor number five, we hope you're settling in well. Okay, it's the same exact thing. I think I'll eat it this time because I'm kind of hungry. So I'll eat the kimchi bowl myself. It might be too spicy for other people, but for us, it's all right. So the menu is cheeseburger and fries, a quarter pound of fresh beef, applewood smoked bacon, American cheese. Boy, I'm eating this. I don't care who's dying below me. I'm eating this shit. Day four. We got fried chicken? Dude, if it's some Popeyes, I'm taking this too. No, we got to be real. We got to be real. Okay, triple fried bacon wrap, chicken drumsticks with a side of Canadian sweet potato fries and creamy coleslaw. Coleslaw sucks. Yo, coleslaw sucks my butt, dude. I'll give that up. I'll give it up. We're on day five. 
All right, let's check it out. Thin crust garlic based pizza topped with goat's cheese, caramelized onions, spinach, red onions, cherry tomatoes, and balsamic drizzle. Okay, for shizzle my drizzle. We're gonna take that. And dear floor number five, how disappointing. To think we gave you the opportunity of being on floor number five, all of the residents below you would kill for the opportunity to be on floor number five. I hope you can live happy knowing the bloodshed your greed has caused. While you filled your stomach with pizza and chicken, the floor members below you sacrificed limbs and lives to feed each other. The sacrifices were very rarely willing participants, but not that you'd care. It matters little to us. We've gathered valuable intel on this testing phase, and once the rooms below you have been cleaned, we will find new subjects for testing. Those who manage to survive will be set free, of course. They will never be able to find this institution. They will only have the memories of the horrors you helped create. You, on the other hand, will be extending your stay with us. You have proven you don't deserve the responsibilities of floor number five, and you will live out your next stay on a lower floor. You can only hope the new resident of floor number five is more generous than you ever were. We do hope you enjoy your stay. Suck my butt, dude. Suck my butt. What do you want me to do? All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. If you guys would like to see more of this series, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.